Geometry is the area of maths that applies to shape and space. It involves measurements, shapes, symmetry, patterns and angles. We can use geometry to calculate anything from the size of a room to how much water is in a swimming pool or which direction to take on a map. Everything in our physical world is made up of shapes and space. To understand the world and make things work for us, we need to be able to measure and calculate their size. When working with shapes, it is also important to be aware of some key vocabulary. Flat, two-dimensional shapes are often referred to as plane shapes. A polygon is another term used for a shape. It is a closed plane shape with three or more straight sides. In geometry, symmetry is when one shape becomes exactly like another if you flip, slide or turn it. A line of symmetry is any line on which you can make such a move. It is also known as a mirror line or a reflection. Let's take a look at an example. A square is a regular polygon. It has four sides and four lines of symmetry. The number of lines of symmetry in a regular polygon is always equal to the number of sides. A regular pentagon has five sides and five lines of symmetry. Rotation symmetry is where a shape is turned around a fixed point so that it looks the same from different places. An irregular polygon does not have equal sides or angles. A compound shape is a shape that is made up of two or more basic shapes. Shapes are often referred to by their dimension. A one-dimensional shape is a basic line. A 2D shape has two dimensions, length and width. A 3D shape has three dimensions, length, width and depth. 2D shapes include the flat examples we've already seen, such as a triangle, square and a pentagon. 3D shapes have multiple flat or 2D faces. A solid 3D object with flat faces and straight edges is called a polyhedron. Cubes, cuboids, prisms and pyramids are all examples of polyhedral shapes. Cylinders, spheres and cones are not polyhedral as they do not have flat faces or straight edges. We can align most everyday physical objects to a shape of some form. Looking at shapes and the facts that relate to them is a small element of geometry. Think about some everyday objects you use. Can you relate this information to them?